Aaron, uh, given the, the fight there in the eighth and ninth and, and how well you guys played the three series entering this, just how disappointing uh, is the start here with these first two results at Fenway? Yeah, uh, very difficult. You know, these games are, are, are big and, uh, you know, you know, we're fighting our butts off right now and, you know, some things didn't go our way tonight, but we got to, we got to continue to fight to make things happen. And we got to find a way to push through, you know, against these clubs, especially these clubs in our division. What'd you see on the sack fly with Luke there in foul ground? Um, just kind of his momentum. He was, he was trying to get a grip on the ball um, as he was turning around and then lost a little bit of footing. So it took him a little bit longer uh, to get rid of it. Um, you know, I, I think he needed to, to work to get behind it uh, a little bit better, but his momentum, you know, you, you know they're probably going to be going there with his back going away from the field, but I think he had a little bit of a trouble getting a grip on it, and then he kind of took a misstep on the grass, so it was just too long to collect himself. I know it ends up uh, not enough tonight, but how significant could it be for this team if DJ starts hitting, you know, the way he did tonight, especially uh, in some big spots late? DJ's DJ's been been swinging well now for for a few weeks tonight obviously really well um you know long one the other way big hit off a of auto there to to extend the inning um so yeah it's really good to see really good to see Glaber swing the bat well again tonight uh after a good at bat off auto to finish last night and then three I thought three good at bats tonight so hopefully you know he's finding some traction too but um yeah, we got to get everyone going. Dave Martin, you're the next question. Please unmute. Hey, Aaron, does uh, hard luck begin to describe what happened to Montgomery in the second and third innings there with uh, with the runs? Yeah. Score? yeah, I thought Monty threw the ball really well. You know, I think probably gave up five infield hits. Um, yeah, I, th I thought Monty was really good from, from the start, you know. Even the first inning, obviously, against the tough top of their order, you know, they made him work a little bit, but he was pounding the strike zone and generating weak contact. Then he comes out in the second, and Bogart sits a little dribbler down the line. Then he walks Devers. That hurt him, obviously. But, um, yeah, I, I thought it was, you know, unfortunate for Monty, who I thought I thought threw the ball really well uh, against him tonight. And I guess the flip side of that, Aaron, is, I mean, does that show kind of the tenacity of the, of the Red Sox? I mean, they're a good hitting team, but to really kind of push and push and get runs in in those situations seems to, you know, they're a hard team to get out, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, they did enough tonight to to beat us. And, and uh, you know, obviously, Evaldi was, was good. Um, you know, he's always tough against us. I, I, I thought we had enough good at bats against him. But one thing he does is, you know, he doesn't give free passes and he does a good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. So so if you're going to do anything, you got to string some things together. You know, we had we had a couple of chances against them. I thought we hit put some balls in play hard against them. Um, you know, they made a nice play on Glaber uh, in the gap there. But, um, you know, he was he, he's he's good and and, you know. He limits traffic and does a good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And, you know, finally, uh, DJ was able to get to him there when he was. But uh, we weren't able to do enough. Thanks. Let me cut you. Go ahead and give the next question. Aaron, just how different does Adovino look uh, compared to what he was last year with you guys? Um, I, I don't know. I probably looks kind of similar, you know, I mean, he's throwing, looks like he's throwing harder, you know, and, and, you know, he's throwing a good number of sinkers against us in these last two nights. You know, I thought he probably ran out of gas a little bit tonight, but um, I don't know how much different. And is it, is it a harder, easier? Does it help at all going against the guy who used to be a teammate? I mean, you know, he, you could ask him the same question, you know, that's, you know, there's a psychological something there, you know, obviously, you know, you know, him well, he knows us well. Um, so I, I guess who has the advantage you, you could draw from, I guess, who wins the matchup, but you know, that's, 
there's all kinds of those psychological battles that go on, I think, throughout the course of the year with whether it's ex-teammates going back to play a, an old team. Um, those are things you got to navigate. Dan Morgan, go ahead. Give the next question. Aaron Judge made that diving play in right. Um, was he any, any ill effects from that? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'll check with them after, but didn't seem like it. And, uh, you know, given that how these this series has gone and, and the sweep uh, the last time, you know, how confident are you with, with Cole on the mound? How important is it for your ace to deliver a big game tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, very confident. And, you know, hopefully we can go out and play play well and, uh, you know, put some points on the board for them. Um, but, yeah, obviously an important one, you know, to try and get tomorrow and salvage this thing and, and before we head home.